In the last few years, animated content have gradually made its way to the big screen, from television, advertising, film, games, and so on, becoming one of the most reliable ways to translate ideas to visuals. And with most animated content, character-based animations are mostly part of it. And one of the major issues as creators that we've all come to notice is file format. The different and individual uniqueness of various file formats has caused a couple of issues in terms of conversion and using multiple sourced motion files, which has more or less plagued a good number of animators, especially those relying on multiple data captures from different domains. And today we have a solution towards a more uniform use of motion data, introducing heat. Heat, in its most primary form, is a simple-to-use drag-and-drop motion library optimized for animators and game developers working across various DCC apps. But this is just on the surface. At its core, Heat would potentially serve as a unifier, as the folks at Heat are poised to making the Heat file the standard motion file format for all animation files, simplifying 3D animation for everyone and enabling creators to utilize motion files and motion data files in a more streamlined and user-friendly way, representing the pathway to multi-motion file usage more like what you have with HTML, but in this case for animated content. Alongside this, Hit also offers a content store where artists can scan through the library of animated content and download as many as they please. It's also worth mentioning that Hit also has a couple of interesting tools that allows you to work with any motion data file that you already had previously. And the DCC file types for this include Autorig Pro, Character Creator from Revolution, Deep Motion, Heat, Mixamo, Move AI, Move One, Rokoko Newton, Rigify, Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 mannequins, VRM, and Xsense. And this simply covers a wide range of daily used domains. And for those who would like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here. And how you work with the heat files and also how you work with heat is super easy. And from here, you can choose to download the plugin, explore motions, or upload your own motions and convert them to heat file. So in this case, if we go over to the download section, you would notice that we have a couple of bridges and also a plugin for Unreal Engine. So this just simply links your Heat account to these DCC apps. So whatever file that you have here or whatever motion that you have saved on Heat, you'll be able to have access to them within your DCC app. So if you like to download that for Blender and actually load your files directly in Blender and start working with this, yes, you can. It is also worth mentioning that you can download as many files as you want and retarget these to any model of choice. Retargeting this is extremely easy as it uses basically the very same principles of retargeting and in several instances, once you already have hit files, you can layer these and create multiple motions out of just one simple rig. And the same thing can also be said for Unreal Engine and also other DCC tools. And if you do have motions that you like to convert to either hit files or hit motions, you can simply go over to the home page and click on upload a movement. This is going to bring you over to a page where you can upload any of the supported motion file format that we have right here or any motion file from the list that we've mentioned before. And all you need to do is drag and drop the file right in here. So the file that we have here is from Mixamo and it is a character reloading a weapon. So once we have this, we're going to leave the auto retarget on. But if we would like to specify that this is Mixamo, we can also go ahead and specify that. And once we have this, we can click on upload and give Heat a couple of seconds to actually take a look at this entire file and automatically it will retarget it. Now here is where some things actually start getting very interesting. Unlike other retargeting tools or other tools that you can use to do some very interesting copy and pasting stuff, this gives you options of playing with various parts of the model. So if you like to extend the shoulders, you can actually do that. And of course you can start seeing the kind of motion that we're getting. So out of one motion, we can generate multiple kinds of motions. This, if we take it all the way down, you would notice we're having a much more tighter shoulder and the animation looks pretty interesting. We can increase the shoulder one more time and we have something a bit more cinematic. We can also choose to play with a couple of other parameters, which includes the elbow. So we can tight the elbow down. Now we can push the elbow up or we can simply tight the elbow a little bit down. And this way we can start mixing and matching and getting some very interesting motions however we want. And if you also have motions of characters translating from one point to another, you can also use the hip to root button to station the character in one place. There's also a couple of other parameters which includes the rotation and these are pretty interesting ones. And once you're done, all you need to do is to click on the save button and this would automatically generate a GIF file for representing this character within the thumbnail Next, this is going to bring you over to the detail page. 
and it will give you an option where you can specify the motion, the description, the route, and tags that you like to give this. And once we have that, we can click on the upload button and this would automatically upload it and we can have access to these via any of the plugins that we currently have. And here's a cool feature that will be coming in a couple of months and that has to do with the auto rig. So at this point, all you need to do to rig your model is to drag and drop it, upload the model and you can click on set key points. And these would automatically assign points just like you have with Mixamo. And once this is done, if you click on the go button, this would automatically rig your model and bring it over to a space where you can test with a couple of motions to check for deformations. And this is one cool way that the folks at Heat are looking at how you can create your rigs faster and make your animations done easier. Some other interesting things includes that Heat actually allows you to use their platform totally for free. So if you're trying to create anything, you can actually use their platform for free. And currently they are offering five megabytes of storage space. And yes, I know a lot of you guys would say it is not enough. But then if you just want to download the motions, say for example, somewhere like here on Mixamo, say probably you like to grab any of these motions how I would suggest you download these motions is download the motion and not the model. And how that works is very simple. If you simply hit the download button, download without skin, and this will download the motion without the model. And most motions are barely up to 600 kilobytes. And so once you think about it from that point, you now see that you have a whole lot of space that you can use to store as many motions as you want, as far as you're storing the motions and not the meshes themselves. This storage space is most likely going to increase over time. And for those who like to get even more data bandwidth and motion files, they do have a couple of subscription plans as this is currently a software as a service. Of course, there's also other payment models which they are currently exploring. And alongside that, there's also a couple of new tech which they are also looking at. And some of these include some extremely useful automated set of tools which will alleviate the stress of several motion capture and motion creation issues. And once this takes flight, just like we've seen with USD, it will potentially become that one unifier that would bring all motion capture files together. And as we move towards the advancement of technology, the future of animation looks interesting and heat alongside with some of the interesting tools that they're currently working on would potentially get us to some interesting heights. And with heat bridging the gap across different motion capture files, all you need to do is drag in any of the motion capture files that you like to work on or work with and simply heat it up. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.